How easy! I wish I was. This is Mr. Bowden. I, I always get Bowden and Bowden, the school and the, and the famous guy mixed up. How you doing, sir? My name. You remember is... me, right? I know. Of course, I remember you when you were in the car and you said it's John Rosen and it's J O N. Look at that. Not J O H N. Wow. What else? Rosen. R O S E N. What else do you know about me? You gave me. You gave me. I can tell you a story. Tell it to me. This is I'm high. Really this is like high definition. Right. So the longer the story, it's going to take like hours to. Oh dear, I'm not sure he's got hours. <laughs> no hours to upload on, oh, if I ever put it on the computer. So no, I got to keep. I have to go and do. I, I I I I think I got like a C or something. Into something I did, it wasn't right, and you gave me like a C, and I came to you and I gave this explanation, uh -huh. which I rarely ever did in my life. But there was some reason why, and I gave you like a I don't know a five, ten, twenty minute explanation. Probably was like five minutes of you know what I did or something, and you you agreed, and, and I think you you even raised. It up to like a B after the after the meeting. I did. Yeah. Very generous. Very generous. Can you believe that? No, but it was legitimate. It was like it was like someone stole my my poetry book. I was borrowing Karen Romp's sister's poetry book, and I even I don't remember all of that. And, and you may not believe this because it's of a complimentary nature, but I do remember that I thought you were quite bright. I'm not c confusing it with whether you study or not. I'm just saying okay. I remember that. And I remember that things happened which I understood uh, not so much. I don't remember the thing itself. I just remember there some incidents, but it seemed to me that I understood them better as, well, why they might happen with any more creative or independent person and so forth. And, you didn't always behave with others, but you really were. I didn't. You were always. But who was the best quarterback out of a ransom? Well, I was going to say, but you were always. Who's the best respectful. quarterback ransom ever had? I don't know. Okay, I'll give you two options me or Joe Kazowitz? You. <laughs> I think your lights are on. That's all right. He's all right, that's enough. You don't mind being on video, do you? No, he's here, not. Will you do, get me with him for a second, sure. please? He's not here. I just I didn't even plan on coming here, and I, I and was you all wet. a long time ago. And you, I've been, and you didn't let me say the rest of it. Okay, go ahead. I remembered, uh, as I said, there were some things, and I don't know they involved other people, but I was on your side. If, if, if I didn't get into the actual fray, I understood. I don't know. And, I think you're confusing I, me with somebody else. No, I'm not. <laughs> I didn't have problems with anybody here. Maybe one guy. Yeah, I, I had one fight. Well, I don't remember. The guy all came that. with a with a scratch face, Kirk and Alice. I think all the teachers were happy about it. But we should I, I'll scratch that from the table. But other than that, I, I don't really recall having any incidents. Well, I'm, and I'm very vague about it because I don't remember either. But I remember this. That, yeah. Now this is not. The first I left time to play. I, I left to go to Gable's uh, football to play quarterback over there, and I was forced back to ransom. They said uh, my parents had already paid. I had to come back. They wouldn't give me the money. And there was an incident there, and I said, "Well, I'll, I'll find somebody." And they said, "No, we, you know, you're going to have to, you, you know." Well, yeah. maybe that's what it was. That, maybe I that was no the idea. incident. But then I ended up Anyhow, coming back. Anyhow, I remember. That's how Joel I'm got to be quarterback. To see you <laughs> now, and I am remembering that I always liked you. I yeah. always thought you were a nice guy. I know and that. Very I know right. that. Thank you. Yeah, all right. Well, and I still likewise. Do. I still do. You put on a few so, pounds, you, but other than that, you're, what do you you're looking put fantastic. On a few pounds. I'm fat as a hog. You're hum. looking fantastic. I just I announced it publicly. I told him that I had looked through my closet to get this shirt, but I tried to cover up this girth. It's so great to put see you. Put on a hell of a lot it's, of pounds. It's so great to see you. It's, well, now, that's the best thing that could have happened for my so. days. To, uh, and I expected to see a bunch of people. And, and they all like, have just I, been I, here and left, and then they're all coming back at. Seven o'clock or whatever for all these reunion dinners. I received an email and I, and I saw your name on there and I was thinking, well, I'd be lucky if I if I saw it, but I didn't realize I you'd pull a up class and see it. at uh, two o'clock. That's, that's probably enough because it's like that's as close to high definition as possible. We'll never be able to ever upload this or email it because it'll take like five hours. You know, it's such a huge file. But I wanted this just as for personal reasons. It's fantastic. Back in the day, back in 1982, we weren't running around with iPhones and video cameras. We didn't get to do this. You too. Thank you. Put on and then they, they, here's what they'll okay. do. <laughs> what? Uh, then like that. Uh, uh, this is a ransom. That, that she's 47 years old and she sang uh, and, and they had t it, um, 10,000 hits and, and she uh, 
is world famous, you know, or something. Uh, Put that on there and tell him he wants to be world famous. Who? Me. Okay. Only, <laughs> can, only, can you recite uh, your favorite poem then or something like only, that? Uh, uh, he's sick and tired of local fame. <laughs> can you you want to recite a, one one of the your favorite poems or something like that or maybe something I'll do you one that I just did it here okay uh, yes um, faith is a fine invention for gentlemen who see but microscopes are brewed in an emergency that's not the best poem in the world. I like that. I'll, I'm going to review it and I'll understand it later. No, I, 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 it's but when you're pretty really deep. ready to do something. Say it, say it again. Say it for me again. When, when you're really ready to do something, I never saw a moor, I never saw the sea, yet no eye how the heather looks and what a wave must be. I never spoke with God nor visited in heaven, yet certain am I of the spot as though a chart were given. That's all the poetry I'm creating until we're ready to call BBC. Or since since you didn't you, you didn't give reference to the first or the second one, I'm assuming that you make that you made those. Oh no no no! Emily Elizabeth Dickinson wrote them. Both uh, of them. They're beautiful. So they faith, are. in other words, is very important, but a microscope one, is even uh, more important in certain one situations. That I With a little faith behind it. One that <laughs> For the good I doctor wrote. It. Yeah. Uh, uh, is. Uh, Let's see if I can possibly remember. Um, I can't remember. <laughs> is that the, is that I the wrote, poem? No, no. I've, I've written. <laughs> Sound many. like what? I, I've written many, but if something happened then, it may have been God correcting the situation, telling me that it wasn't good enough to put on your machine. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me um, just get a quick. I want to. I'd rather use this whatever time with you, but I just want to get a quick uh, shot of the campus since I'm here. That's a football field down there, and I'm not going to walk all the way out there, though I feel like it. We got the cannon. This is sort of a, for me a new sailboat that moved into that position, and the Raider were the Ransom Raiders. This is uh, this is new for me in terms of well, all this is actually this building here. Even this used to be the auditorium, and now it looks like it's the library. And uh, a lot of that over there is relatively new. When I say relative, I mean it's been here for 10 or 15 years over back in there, you know, but wasn't here in my day. And there's some other structures. But anyway, this is Mr. Bowden's a fixture here from, from what, when, when uh, what was the first year you, you were at Ransom? When did you join Ransom? Oh, my Lord, have mercy. I was here in, uh, from 80, 81, 82. Well, I came and it seemed here that in You were pretty much in charge by that. <laughs> Re the ransom since 2011, so I have been here unmovable for 56 years. That's fantastic. Over half a century. I'm going to come back to see you again later, okay? Why don't you? You probably have a lot to do, and I, uh, you know, right I'm now, sitting here wet. Go and take, get a few messages. And Mac, actually, without my phone, I left in a rush, and I, uh, I need to get going. But can I come back and see you? Of course. You Are you can. living on campus? No. Okay, let me end this. Hold on. Let me let me stop it. Okay, nice to see you. Good to see you. My my pleasure. Hold on.